I believe you. that you're here Thank today. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, it's really great. And I'm really curious to hear what you were experiencing when you listened to this piece of music. Uh, so many things. I'm, I'm thinking of so many things. I'm thinking this amazing music with this tremendous depth and how it must have been, if I think of my dad talking about the wretched, how it must have been to be the first people hearing this music um, and how this music has changed the world and our ex way of experiencing music and our way of, of going to the opera and how it can never go back to something before. So uh, I'm thinking of all that. I, I had the the Personally, I had the experience this year to be, for the first time, part of a world creation. And it was one of the most exciting things ever to be in this creative process where uh, we were in, 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 in uh, rehearsal and you can hear music for the first time and you know on this earth no one has ever heard these sounds. This is a first timer. It's very, very exciting. Yes. And something changes. Something changes. At a completely. very microscopically I think small so, yeah. I level. I definitely think so, yeah. yes. I would like to know how does it feel to actually be able to, to sing these sounds? What does that do with you? Well, what I think is so amazing about opera and uh, is that uh, opera is, a, is an art form where you have all arts combined, almost all arts. You, know, you have the visual art, you have set designers, costume designers, then you have, of course, the performing arts and uh, with the singing, but also the acting, and sometimes when you're lucky, the dancing. And it's such an experience to be, uh, I wish that for everyone in the world to experience once, that you can stand on the stage and there's 80 people in the orchestra pit playing. And you know, deep down, you know that these people, you know, they've, they've since childhood, since they were four years old, they started to play the violin and their dream was to be making music. 
and uh, they spent hours and hours and years and years of their life devoting to these instruments, devoting to music. And everybody on stage actually is the same. You have people in the chorus, and they're all people who have graduated from conservatory or something. And everybody is, is you know, everybody when you're on a stage, and also when you're in an auditorium, I hope people realize this, is that everybody is, is in the same place and you've all worked for this moment your whole life. So every moment is so precious and there's an energy that goes on in an auditorium and on a stage that lifts everybody up. And I think, you know, uh, this is so important because I think this, this art and, and, and music makes people think outside the box and be bigger than themselves. And I think this is how humanity progresses, and this is, you know, this is why we need art in our lives. Yeah, we talked already about that. About connection is really what, that, and it comes through through all of the the, the uh, talks that we're hearing. M w through music, you connect with yourself, with your own emotions, with your own feelings. I definitely think it's uh, also very therapeutic. I mean, if you just want to uh, see your, so your in your own life how music can lift you up out of out of any depression, then well, maybe not every depression, but lots of depression, mm. and uh, it can help you. Uh, uh, it can help you deal with your own emotions and it can only also help you to, you know, if you, if you are uh, going to a performance or, or listening to music, uh, you're, you're sort of experiencing how people have dealt with their problems, you know, because opera is always about the basic, m mainly it's about the basic emotions of life, it's about death and love and passion and and jealousy jealousy fear greed it's, greed it's all of it's all there redemption <laughs> everything yes and uh so it gives you another outlook another way to deal with your own feelings and emotions and with your own life and it gives you a new outlook it's like you step outside your own life and you can see it all of a sudden so i, I feel it's highly therapeutic yes so what about kids and music we talked about food and kids yes. now what about is music also food for the spirit food for the body food for the soul soul and what do we want to see happening in schools because we know that opera i think here in the netherlands is a kind of an underrated form of art and maybe in other countries it's uh, especially among young people yeah and don't you think that that is really uh, I th a pity? I hope it's, uh, it is a pity, but I think it is changing a bit. And I, I, I'm always positive, so I, I oh hope good. it is changing oh a bit. <laughs> and I feel that, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's like food we need. And I feel that there are people are doing lots of projects to, to work with children, and uh, especially troubled or uh, children. They feel, I don't know if you know Simon Rettel's film, Rhythm Is It, where he works with uh, school children in Berlin, uh, and they do the Berlin Phil play the Sacre du Printemps, and they do a choreography with these children. Uh, and you can just feel how these children grow and uh, get more conscious of, of life and get more self conscious and uh, in a positive, yeah. self confident, I meant to say. Yes. Yeah, and of self course. Self conscious is not right. <laughs> kids usually react in a much more immediate way. They don't, yeah. they don't have all these ideas oh, I should like this, but I don't. Yeah. Now, of course, we can now listen to the great performances, whereas a hundred years that was impossible. That's another miracle that we can hear through all the devices that we have. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, we can go to a performance and be there, and that's great. But now we also have this other way of listening to opera in the movie theaters. Yes. What do you? F how do you feel about that? We saw you. I saw you in the Valkure a couple of weeks ago at the Pate Buitenhof. So. Uh, it was uh, uh, extremely nerve-wracking to do, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it was very fun, I have to say. But it was, God, if you just realize, if you have one millisecond when you're on the stage and you realize that 150 
uh, cinemas or I don't know how I many. I don't know. Twelve hundred. Uh, bil- so not many billions, cinemas all in Ecuador from from any you know everywhere. They were watching you live. And those cameras and are so, so close, close up. I mean, yeah, terrible. But so uh, that's but you that forgot about that, right? Well, I didn't see it. I'm, no. I'm so happy I didn't see it myself. Yeah, no, but, but I mean, <laughs> when you were singing, you when I was singing, I forgot about it. Yeah, definitely. right. Yeah. yeah. But uh, but I think it's wonderful because it it brings opera and music closer to people. And I just personally, I wish for people to have these experiences of what music can do for you and what uh, how how it can change your life and how. How wonderful! How wonderfully enriched your life will be if you have music in your life. So the message really is, let embrace opera. Yes. <laughs> I want to know who here already has embraced opera. Oh. Oh. That's what great. What do you think? I'm happy. Okay. And then, without, mer- I want to thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Talking with me and us. And we're going to watch a fragment now of La Fanciula del West. Can you tell a little bit about it before we roll the tape? Uh, This is in the second act, the love duet, where they finally decide to fall in love and go for it. And she doesn't know yet that he's actually a bandit. Ah, those are the best. It's a beautiful moment. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Yes. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Eva a big hand. <laughs> 